Welcome back. Thanks again for watching another one of my videos. So in this one, I'm not going to talk about taxes, tax planning, tax savings. I'm going to do a product review. So this is the first product review I've done. And you can kind of link it to personal finance. Um, there's essentially what it is. It's called the Founders Card. It's a, if you go to founderscard.com, it's a kind of membership or a club where you pay a, you know annual fee and you get a ton of perks. And if you go to the website, it's very high level. It doesn't tell you what the membership costs are. It doesn't tell you what perks are available in this card. Um, and again, I've been a member for at least five years, I think five or six years. And I'll show you on a separate spreadsheet my annual savings by utilizing this card. Again, it's not a credit card, so there's nothing linked to your credit score or anything like that. It's kind of like a, you call it like a membership club. Um, and it's different than a credit card. And you might think, oh, I have, you know, Chase or I have, you know, uh, Citibank and I get my rewards that way. True. Another way of looking at this founder's card is it kind of works on top of that credit card. So you get the benefits of the credit card, but you also get additional benefits by utilizing this card. So again, it's my first product review. Leave your comments below. I'll also put a link to, um, uh, if, you, if you are interested, you'll save $100 by utilizing this link that I'm gonna you know, put in the, the message summary below. Um, if you have any questions about the card, leave them in the comments below. But overall, I've been very happy with it. I've saved a lot of money year over year. Um, so we'll kind of get into it right now. All right, thanks again for watching. So this is gonna be a quick review. This is the first product review I've done um, and it's on the Founders Card. So when you go to founderscard.com right now, you're not gonna see what I'm gonna show you. Um, the membership starts out at $5.95 uh, per year. And then there's a higher tier one that's at $9.95 uh, per year. But again, if you go to the website, you don't know what you're going to be saving or what deals they offer. So that's the whole purpose of uh, this video here. So I became a member many years ago and I paid $4.95. Um, I'm going to include a link to my video um, where if, you, if you're interested and you want to sign up, if you click on that link, instead of paying $5.95 per year, you'll pay $4.95 per year. So I'm going to highlight some of the benefits here. Again, this is not a credit card, okay? So there's no credit score or anything like that. Think of it kind of like a, a perks club or a membership club. And by being a member of this club, you get tons of discounts. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I used it last year in 2023 and the savings that I had. And the savings far outweighed the cost. So it definitely made sense for me to kind of retain this, this card. And that's what you got to kind of look at, it, obviously, right? You don't want to be paying $500 a year for a card where you're only going to be saving $200 per year, right? So if you're a traveler, if you, you know, you buy a lot of stuff every year, um, this might be for you. Um, so you can use this on top of your credit card benefits as well. Now, First off, you know, it's called the founder's card. So you might be thinking, oh, do I need to be a, you know, founder of a, uh, or a business owner? The answer is no. You can be anyone, right? When you apply for this. Um, but there are benefits if you're a business owner, because as a business owner, you know, you're, you're buying a bunch of different items here, uh, per year. So like for me, last year, I bought, um, a new computer. Uh, it was a Lenovo, right? So I saved a bunch there. Um, and they kind of categorize all your savings first at your travel, hotel, lifestyle, business. Um, and then there's a community, right? If you want to talk to other, you know, people on here, but if you start out with the business here, you got marketing, web design, work from home, um, co-working spaces, business essentials. So it's, you know, work from home. Um, so you got your Lenovo products, you got your Dell computers, UPS shipping. Um, Apple products, right? So there's, you know, savings there. If you buy Apple products every year, it might be even worth, you know, Apple products aren't cheap. Slack, Dropbox, we don't use Dropbox, but there's savings there. Um, Desk Pass. So these are all kind of around working from home. Um, and again, that's how they kind of categorize it. Marketing, let's open up marketing. Um, Fiverr Pro, I use that. HubSpot. So if you're a HubSpot user, you know the free plan is free, but if you want to, 
get access to the additional features, it's not cheap, right? It gets pretty expensive. So that alone might even be worth kind of getting this card. There's Moo, Dropbox, Airtable, um, Swag.com, Typeform, if you're looking to get um, survey results from your customers. Um, so that's under, you know, marketing. So there's a lot, you know, Dropbox, we talked about Square. Um, so now let's go to travel. So you can see under travel, they got hotel rewards, featured hotels, premium services. Like if you're a golfer, links to golf. If you check that out, you, you know, you become a member and you can play different golf courses around the world. Um, but you know, last year I used Avis a couple times. Um, and that alone's kind of saved me money. Uh, there's Hertz, Avis, there's, you know, these other, you know, car rental places here. Um, and, and then they got hotels, right? So they break it out by, you know, North America, South America. You can see how they broke it out here, Europe, Asia, um, or the type of hotels, right? So if you're looking, say you're looking to go to London, right? Um, here are all the hotels that they offer and here are the rates. Um, so it's, it's not bad. And you're probably going to be paying a lot less going through here than booking directly through the hotel. Lifestyle, um, you know, concert tickets, you know, Taylor Swift tickets, NHL tickets, NBA tickets, um, gym memberships. We go to gym memberships here. Um, I think they had Equinox and so Soul Cycle, Equinox, right? Uh, Crunch Fitness. Um, so that, you know, a lot of these alone can kind of pay itself for the membership. Um, a lifestyle, like I, I bought some stuff on um, Adidas last year, right here. So save money there. So there's a lot of great savings. I, I think the card is definitely worth it, but you want to do the math first. And I'll show you kind of the math that I did. And you'll see definitely the savings out, outweighed the, the cost that I pay per year. And again, if you're interested, use the link um, in the show notes that I provided. Um, or here's one, Jeep. I'm a big Jeep fan. So you can see here, you know, savings by, if you want to buy a Jeep. Um, so you can see the average savings too. So if there's, you know, just a handful of items or even it could be like two or three items here that you purchase every year. If you kind of go through founder's card, you're going to pay off that, that annual membership fee right away. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything about the card. Thanks again for watching. All right. So really quick, here is a spreadsheet that I kind of keep track of in terms of like the savings. So on AT&T, and this is all in 2023. So the cost to me for the card is $4.95 per year. And AT&T, I save $240 a year. Lenovo last year is about $750. Adidas, $120. Fiverr Pro, $125. And Avis, about $225. So the total uh, by utilizing the card, I saved, um, you know, 1460. Okay. All of 2023 cost to me is 495. So the total net savings, um, was pretty close to a thousand dollars. So what you want to do is you want to think about, um, and I try to capture this in the video of all the different perks available and try to think about, you know, if you're a big traveler, right, this, this card might be good for you. Um, if you have a lot of like subscriptions like AT&T, HubSpot, you know, Dropbox, if you have a lot of these type of subscriptions or even AWS, um, that might be another reason to kind of get this card. Um, you know, buying computers, right? You got Apple, you got Lenovo, you got Dell, right? If you make a lot of those purchases, even if you spend a lot this year, um, and you don't, the next year, the savings that you have this year will cover for the cost for next year, right? So if I don't buy anything else in 2024, the savings still gives me like another almost two more years um, of using this card, not, you know, spending anything on it. But remember this AT&T, this is automatic, right? So as long as I have AT&T, uh, I get this automatic every year. So anyways, this is a quick spreadsheet. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.